at five. Terror in New York. A truck plows through people on a bike path, killing eight and injuring more than a dozen others. The man police say is responsible spent time in Tampa. He's been identified as 29-year-old Seifulo Saipov and is a native of Uzbekistan. Police shot him after he rammed his rented truck into a line of people on that busy bike path in lower Manhattan. In fact, it was just a few blocks away from the new World Trade Center. This morning, we know five citizens of Argentina and one person from Germany and one from Belgium are among the eight killed. Last night, a tribute to the victims towered above New York City. You see it there, the spire of One World Trade Center just blocks from the scene of that attack, lit up in red, white, and blue. And our team coverage begins this morning with CBS4's Maribel Rodriguez live here in the studio with the latest information. Maribel. Well, this morning, sources tell CBS News ISIS may have played a role in the terror attack in Lower Manhattan. As you mentioned, eight people were killed and more than a dozen others injured, all in the shadow of the new World Trade Center. Overnight investigators continue to comb the scene for evidence in the deadly terror attack in Lower Manhattan. A federal judge enforcement source tells CBS that a note referencing ISIS was found inside the vehicle used to run down several people. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. Police say 29 year old Seifulo Saipov, a native of Uzbekistan, came to the U.S. in 2010, drove a rental truck through a bike path, mowing down pedestrians and bicyclists. It happened just north of where the Twin Towers once stood. He then collided with a school bus, injuring two adults and two children. The driver of the truck exited the vehicle brandishing two handguns. A uniformed police officer assigned to the first precinct confronted the subject and shot him in the abdomen. Police say those guns turned out to be a paintball and pellet gun. This man caught the encounter on his cell phone. I heard the gunshots, like five, six gunshots. Then we all went down because we didn't know which part the gunshots coming. So we were all scared. Saipov worked as an Uber driver and truck driver and had a Florida driver's license. Hours after the shooting, detectives converged on a New Jersey Home Depot where he is believed to have rented the truck used in the attack. Law enforcement says they believe the suspect acted as a lone wolf, not as part of a wider terror plot. Even still, security has been stepped up and additional NYPD officers have been deployed across the city. Names of the victims are starting to be revealed. Five of those killed were Argentinian, childhood friends who were in town celebrating the 30th anniversary of their high school graduation. And the suspect underwent surgery. He is in critical condition and expected to survive. Live in the studio, Maribel Rodriguez, CBS4, this morning.